All right, now that we have our props and everything done, we need to learn the component life cycle of React. Now, the component life cycle of React is the functions that all components, these components, have. And they execute themselves in a certain order. All right, so the order when we render something, this means when we want to make the component exist on the page, is the following. First, we call component will mount. Then we call render, which is this one, and then we call component did mount. And hey, this happens automatically. Whether you want to or not, whenever you render a component, the order is this one goes first, this one goes second, and this one goes third. All right? Component will mount, component did mount, and render. So if we console log everything, you will see console log will mount. And here console log did mount. And here console log did render. Now this is gonna compile again and we are going to go here, inspect the element, refresh this sheet, and we'll see will mount, did render, and then did mount. So whenever a component starts to exist on the React word of your page, you will have you will call will mount first, did render second, and then did mount. Alright? So component will mount, did mount, and render are the functions for when the component starts to exist. And again, the order is first will mount then render and then did mount so for example if you were making an application for like this one of the movies when we say component will mount we maybe make a request to the api all right and then after the request is is done after the component is rendered we do something with the data okay and this is very useful because it can help you build your components listening to the events all right so here you are notified that the component is going to start existing on react here you are notified that the component exists now and here you are notified that everything is successful and that you can see the component on the react universe of your application so this is for rendering what about when you update something when you update, you have even more. The first one you have is component will receive props, right? This is when a component gets new props. This one is should component update because React is going to look at the old props and is going to look at the new props. Now, if the old props and the new props are different, React is going to say, yes, update equals true all right because it should update whenever the props are different from the the old props are different from the new props you will have an update all right so should component update yes then this will notify you the component is going to update so maybe you can do something after it renders it will notify you again that the component has updated all right and these functions are called in this order all the time whenever you render or when you update and it's always like this so it's very good that you learn these things because it's going to help you a lot in the way you put your logic in the component maybe you do something when the component is going to mount like here maybe you do something else when the component did mount maybe you do something else when the component will update all right, maybe you do something with, when the component did update. So for example, if you're looking about updating, you could show here in the component will update, you can show a spin or a loading. And then here, after component did update, you can hide the spinner because the component is already updated. Just as an example, all right? Remember, I don't wanna give you this theory, so we're going to practice this in the following videos. But all you have to remember is that the components have many functions, like this one, this one, this one, or all of the other ones, and they get called enough in some specific order, and you cannot stop that.
it always go, it's always going to happen because that's React. It's automatic. See you on the next one where we are going to start practicing what this will do for us.